YouTube, Louie here with the best silver gold deals of Tuesday, March 5th, 2024. Uh, a lot of activity overnight in the silver and gold market. So uh, right now we have got gold at 2125 and silver at 2389 So it was down last night and now back up this morning, but 2389 is the ask price uh, per Kitco. Uh, we've got the gold silver ratio at ah nice nice lower 88.49 and in my opinion uh, we have a downside opportunity because if you're looking for silver you want to well if you favor silver over gold which I do right now uh, you want to see that GSR drop um, and uh, I think we have downside opportunity to 82 even 80 on the GSR. Um, but uh, as you know, anything can happen, and now we, uh, you know, we're well below 90, back down to 88. Could we make it to 86? Yes, all those things are possible. The 10-year is very volatile, and something is up in the plumbing here. Um, we're entering a very vicious uh, session or week. We have data coming out on Friday. We have Powell talking. And uh, we have the 10-year uh, really dropping quite a bit here to 4.156. Um, so could again, could be bottoming on the 10-year. And a spike in the 10-year could uh, reverse those gains in metals. Uh, the dollar is up in spite of uh, rates being down. So this shows you there's a lot of activity in the currency market. And... Uh, I think that might have to do, well, you know, I'm not going to speculate, but things are changing in the global economy, and uh, we'll have to see what that does to the dollar. Right now, the dollar is diverging from the 10-year, and uh, gold and silver are both up on the morning. All right, in the stock futures, uh, pre-market trading, we are at extreme greed, and uh, let's see, Dow is down 158, S&P down 23.50, NASDAQ down 126. Maybe they're fearful of what happens on Friday as well. Let's get on to the deals if you are buying. Okay, and I'm going to exercise some caution here. I'll tell you in a little bit what that is. But to start off, uncomfortably high gold prices. Uh, this is the best gold eagle, 2,197.83 at Liberty. Best one, one half ounce uh, gold eagle, 1,134.86 at Pinehurst Coins. Best quarter ounce gold eagle, 582.80 at Bold. Best one tenth ounce gold eagle, 246.03 at Liberty. And for buffaloes, we got the best one ounce buffalo at Liberty Coin, 2215.97. I'm just finding these 2200 numbers to be mind blowing. But here we are with gold, boy, just really rocking. Uh, SD Bullion has got uh, a BU St. Gaudens double eagle for 2225.31, and uh, that is not much over spot. But uh, wow, gold is just doing so well right now. Best one ounce gold maple at Bullion Exchange is 2170.09. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, and best quarter ounce gold maple at Golden Eagle, 586.91. Hard to find a quarter ounce uh, gold under $600. Here is the Britannia at Bold. You can get that for 562.67. One of the better deals in quarter ounce gold. Uh, one tenth Britannia, 236.88. Still a reasonable deal for one tenth. One ounce Krugerand, uh, 2167.07. Uh, so that is a nice deal over at Hero Bullion. In the $5 commemorative category, they are getting uh, not to be as cheap as they were, 522.47. 
at bullion exchanges, but uh, better deals on uh, most of this stuff through eBay with your uh, credit card, with your 3% cash back credit card. Here is that PayPal credit card. Just get it, guys. Okay, in the foreign gold category, we have got uh, the Angel at 407.58 at bullion exchanges. And we have got the Rooster at 405.58 at bullion exchanges. Okay, you still have the gold at spot deals. Uh, one ounce gold bars are, again, uncomfortably high. Not that much over spot, but 2,172.90 for one ounce gold bar. Uh, the, the BU Libs, if I was going to buy gold today, honestly, rather than pay those prices, I would get this. I'd get the half ounce gold Libertad BU, not the proof, um, and wait for that to appreciate. Um, it's getting to be a little hard to buy, okay? Uh, here is the uh, one ounce gold Merlin coin, 2,156. Not that much over spot for an ounce of gold. And the Platinums uh, are back at Monument Metals and one other dealer as well. Thank you to the subscriber that uh, alerted me to that. But I'm going to stick with Monument Metals. 1,084.39. Platinum must be dropping this morning. Um, so platinum, palladium dropping. Um, I don't know. We could have a reversal. And here is generic platinum at, uh, should be cheaper, 948.40 at bullion exchanges. Platinum in assay. Getting on to the eagles, which is what a lot of people are looking for. Uh, one at spot at bullion exchanges, 24.13 now. Uh, best quantity of 20 is still at Pinehurst, 28.01 each for a tube of 20 and lightly used uh, eagles over at silver gold bull 28.03 any quantity pricing all right so i've got my caution light on now to you people that uh, are just averaging into the market well this is when you test your metal right is, is today the day that you average the market you average into the market then you would just go ahead and find the best deals and buy um, i'm going to exercise some caution here we've had a really nice move um, in silver and gold is uh, threatening all-time highs of course or is it already having all-time highs we could see gold make a move but um, I'm cautious. I'm very cautious here. And if you uh, are stacking systematically over time, looking for the dips to do your buying, now would not be the time to buy. If you want to use, you know, these methods that I've been using, you, you want to buy when silver is on a dip. You don't want to buy when it's on a rip. Same thing for gold. With that said, if you are a momentum investor and you only buy when things are going up because you think they're going to go higher, well, you know, you'd be buying gold. And if you're buying gold, you'd be buying silver and even more of it because that GSR can definitely drop. So, um, but anyway, we it's a tough week. I think it's a week to sit and watch. All right, but if you're buying, here we go. Best um, silver maple deal at Bullion Exchanges, 24.18 for one. And if you want to get uh, um, the best uh, any quantity pricing, 26.61 at Monument Metals. Uh, the maples are still cheap comparatively. All right, Britannias are at bold, and they are 26.84, also pretty cheap. Lightly used Britannias at Silver Gold Bull, 26.78. Um, and the uh, Big Chuck coin, the 10-ounce Britannia, is 284.90 at bold. That's a collector coin, but not much more above spot for that. Kangaroos at Liberty coin, um, a group of 10 can be had for 272.62. And uh, any quantity pricing is going to be 27.44 at bold. I'm sorry, uh, the 1 to 24 pricing, 27.44 at bold. Krugerrands, can we get them under 27? 27.14 at bullion exchanges. You can beat all these prices over on eBay if you have that credit card. The Philharmonics, which were $25, are now 27.22. Ouch. I would uh, wait for the cheaper prices to come back. You can get the Coronation Coin or the King Charles uh, Britannia Coronation Coin uh, at, uh, is it Bullion Exchanges? No, JM Bullion. 
Yikes, 32.11. Hope you bought those when they were cheaper. And for the Steamboat Willy Coin, 26.92. Uh, let's see, we've got the Costco deals. The Gold Maple was in stock this morning for a nanosecond. I think the bots have all been aimed at Costco and uh, people are scooping those up or um, sophisticated buyers are, are picking those up under spot. But, uh, you know, I think there's two things that need to happen to get a good buy. And uh, this may seem like I'm a little picky, but I want low premiums, which we've got, and I want the best price, the best low premium, which I think I'm giving you on my website, but I also want spot to be lower, and right now we're in an uptrend. I want to look for the reversal. That's just the way I am, um, but uh, could be wrong about that. Junk 90, this is ridiculous, 1,872.62 for Junk 90. Uh, and uh, here is how cheap it can get. Oh, 936.94 for $50 face over at bullion.com. And there is a discount code. Um, here is the big hitter, 18307. Okay, we got junk going for 18.30 times face. It just has been so much cheaper in the very recent past. I'm, it's hard for me to recommend buying today. 187.76 for $10 face over at AppMix. And uh, here are the spot bars. If you haven't picked up the spot deals, I think that would be okay to do today. The silver gold bowl bar is $241. For new customers. I like the Coke bar and often when spot increases um, I turn to collectibles but most of you don't collect so you wouldn't want this but uh, nice nice deal on the uh, Coca-Cola bars and uh, if you have the PayPal credit card you can get 3% off. If you have the Capital One Walmart card you might be able to get 5% off on that. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's magnify our deals right now if we're buying ten uh, ten ounce uh, random design bars. They look new. Uh, Two sixty point sixty for um, a ten ounce bar from Bullion.com. Use the discount code. The Engelhard bars um, are two ninety four point thirty. Even if you call them and ask to get that poured bar, you're still not going to get it. So if you do this, make sure you want the pressed bars. Is that unscrupulous? Is that wrong? Is that uh, bait and switch? Yeah, I feel it is. Um, and it's happened to me before. I know it's easy to buy that and think if I buy three, I should get one, two, three, right? But uh, even if you call them and ask them, they'll tell you to pound sand. So um, it's a little bit deceptive. But uh, anyway, the pressed bars are a good deal at 294 not as good a deal as they were at 270 something, right? The kazoo bar is still a great deal, uh, probably still in the 24s. The Silvertown bar, is that under 26? Yeah, it's still a good deal on the Silvertown bar at Monument Metals. The 10, the 10 ounce bars have not popped yet. There are still plenty of them out there at reasonable prices. That's what I'd probably be buying, uh, or if you can get deals on Eagles or the other eBay. Uh, stuff I've shown you. The Bison Bullion Bar is now 275.70. Glad I got mine early. And we got the Chunky Scottsdale Bar is going to be cheaper than that. Okay, on the eBay side, I'll show you the Eagle Deal and uh, 571 from bullion.llc. Just going to show you how cheap these get. 571 point nothing uh, divided by 20 times 0.97 if you have that PayPal credit card, times 0.967 if you have that eBay credit card, and perhaps even lower if you have that Capital One card with the added, um, the added eBay deal points. I know I'm not making sense, but I'll have to show you that. So, but uh, anybody can get these for 27.69. Um, if you have that 3% rebate card and another $10 off if you spend even more. All right, going back, uh, let's see. So similar deals on uh, pretty much everything here. Let's see, what are the kangaroos? I mean, the uh, Krugerrands going uh, 677, 677.51 times uh, 0.97 divided by 25. 26.29 on the Krugerrands through eBay with a 3% rebate. 
um, and uh, going on to the uh, the one tenth. I'll just do this math in my head. Two forty six minus about uh, seven dollars would put you under two forty for a one tenth gold eagle. Um, and uh, let's see, we got uh, five eighty. So this is a good deal on this one quarter ounce. Although I don't know the seller, uh, somebody should probably buy this. Five eighty times 0.97 would put you at uh, 562.60 out the door. Oh, $20 shipping. Forget that. Ah, that's my mistake. Sorry, guys. I missed that. Okay, um, and half ounce, one ounce. How cheap can you get the one ounce Gold Eagle? Well, you could take 3% off, which would be $63.00. And you would be at about twenty-one fifty on this Gold Eagle with a three percent rebate. Yes, it does work. The eBay re the eBay credit card rebate works, um, and the PayPal credit card works for sure. The Capital One extra credit rebates. I'm not sure yet. That takes a while for those to show up. In the commemorative category, we can get the commemoratives. Five twenty-six minus about sixteen puts you at about five ten for a gold commemorative after rebate. This is about the only way I'd be buying gold today. Uh, five twenty-five for this nice Columbus coin, and uh, for you uh, Columbo uh, fans out there, uh, take about fifteen, sixteen, seventeen dollars off. That'd be a good deal on a five-dollar commemorative. That's about a Quarter, let um, a little less than a quarter ounce of gold. Where did this set sell at? Well, we got this set sold at five sixteen. Somebody got some free silver there. Uh, we've got this one up today, and oh, it already sold. Damn it, it was too cheap. It was five hundred bucks, um, and uh, I didn't know the seller, but he had good feedback. And people are scanning eBay for deals like this. These are often sellers that don't know spot is moving. This was, uh, well, Silver, Silver Jim ought to known that he priced this too cheap. But uh, there's some estate sales here and so forth that they don't really know spot is moving up and they price it too cheap. So keep watching eBay. Uh, this one sold for five thirty six, uh, more than it was worth. Uh, so, uh, and uh, what else did we have? Okay, that's it. Um, but keep watching eBay, boys. Keep uh, scanning, scanning those deals because uh, right now gold is just super high and some people may be selling less than market. Okay, the one tenth Britannia on eBay is 239.80. That's the one I bought that I got for about 220. Um, and we've got the one tenth maple at 238. Again, minus about seven bucks, so you'll be cheaper on the maple than most. Uh, the quarter ounce maple is uh, BGASC 582.91 minus that 3% rebate. What's going on with the poured silver? Uh, let's see, I mean, with the vintage silver, uh, yeah, Engelhard's over 300 bucks and they look nasty. Silvertown bar is that's a serialized bar. Yeah, it's a serialized Silvertown bar. That's a pretty good deal at 304. Oh, this is again, this is you might get this and you might get that. So uh, I wouldn't buy that. Who knows what you're going to get? Yeah, the vintage deals are behind us. Uh, vintage deals, no. Ooh, look at the poor lines. That's probably a recast. Anyway, so uh, silver is pricey, but could get pricier. Uh, okay, where did I go? Where did I go? Where did I go? Okay, what else do we have in here? Um, here is the eBay card, which uh, you can, uh, after you spend $1,000, you can get 3.33% cash back. I think you get 1% or 2% until then. Um, and here are the various spot deals you've seen before. Uh, anything I want to highlight here? Uh, the Kookaburras, what are they, 30 bucks now? 29.65. could have had that for under 28 a little while ago. Uh, the patent bar is still there. The Germania coin is still there for you collectors. Are my BU Morgan still here? Yeah, they're not getting any more expensive. 32.99 for the 21 BU Morgans. They're very pretty if you want to diversify into numismatics. I mean, that's like, you know, I don't know, the Coca Cola of coins. All right, and we got the two ounce Tudor Beast. Uh, we've got how cheap are these sovereign? Um, uh, uh, sovereign uh, Phoenix coins, uh, about 26 an ounce for a sovereign coin. That may beat most of the deals out there that I showed you, but uh, nobody's going to know what it is, so it may not bring you the, 
the uh, premium you want when you're selling back. Um, I'm going to get through this really quickly and then show you something. Uh, you know about all this stuff. The one ounce silver rounds, uh, let me hit this one really quickly. 25.74 at Golden Eagle. They look brand new. So uh, that's, that's a way to continue to participate, um, even though you don't want to pay the higher prices. Uh, we still have this Dragon Phoenix round, 25.77 at Bold. That's another decent round. And the Buffaloes at SD Bullion, 27.35. Do not buy that. That's too expensive. Uh, any condition, one ounce rounds are 25.17 at Proventon. Buy that. Okay, and uh, let's see. I told you about the sniper tool. Um, I want to get to that Walmart card. Okay, this is the Walmart Capital One card. Um, so people are saying that works. Um, and uh, there may or may not be a sales tax problem. If there is a sales tax problem, uh, promptly call Walmart and tell them to reverse it. And uh, I'm told that they will do that for you. No guarantees, but that's what I'm told. They may overcharge you for sales tax, and they may, um, and they may reverse that if you call them. So that'd be the best deal going if you can work through those issues. The Quicksilver card um, is going to give you 1.5% cash back all the time. And um, I guess you get a $200 bonus with this once you do something. Uh, I don't know when you get that bonus, but it's a good card. I've had it for years. So uh, if you, uh, where is the deal? Unlimited rewards. Um, but the deal is there are, uh, there are extra deals. There are extra deal alerts. Um, damn it. If, you know, they really ought to highlight this, um, important disclosures, um, referral terms, uh, status of my application, um, you can refer friends to this as well. Um, well, what, what happens with this is that um, there is a Capital One page that you go to. There's a rewards page. Then you click on See All Rewards. Okay, the one I want you to look, well, if you, once you have this card, is look for the eBay um, tab. You click through the two, Earn 2%, uh, Extra 2% through to eBay page. You get onto eBay. Then you use your Capital One card, and you theoretically can get 3.5% cash back when they're running that 2% um, eBay deal. Okay, sometimes it may be more than 2%. So grab this card, learn how to use those, uh, those deal codes, and you should be able to get extra cash back um, when you click through the deal codes. They say it takes one or two cycles for it to show up. So far, I haven't seen my reward show up. Um, so, but others say it does. That is the deal on Capital One. Uh, the rewards are unlimited, and there are many categories in there. You know, if you're buying a flat screen or something, um, you can get extra savings using this card and those extra deal points. All right, let's go back to Kitco. And like I said, I'm very, very cautious today for those of you for those of you that uh, are well stacked. There's no reason to raise your cost per ounce today. Okay, and I would avoid the FOMO. Anything can happen. We could go to 2200 gold today. I don't know. But over time, I have learned not to jump the gun when prices start getting pricier. I'm very happy for the higher prices, but uh, I'm cautious this week and I'm looking to see what happens on Friday and if that 10 year spikes back up to, uh, well, where is the 10 year now? You see what could happen. 416, that 10 year could spike back to 450. No, it won't go to 450. It could go back to uh, 4, 424 or so. Who knows what Powell's going to say? I know the long term uh, is still down on interest rates, and I think it's still down on inflation. Um, but uh, th this is going to be a weird week here, and we have metals, uh, you know really moving up so uh, just be cautious uh, and uh, let's see what happens okay guys I will see you tomorrow thanks for tuning in Louie out